curse of the billy goat. In the annals of sports history, a peculiar and infamous curse took root on October 6, 1945, marking one of the most frustrating, quirky, and renowned tales in the world of athletics. This is the curse of the billy goat, a curse cast upon the Chicago Cubs by William Billy Sianis and his trusty companion, Murphy the Goat. The genesis of this curse unfolded when William, the proprietor of the Billy Goat Tavern in Chicago, decided to buy tickets and bring his goat to Game 4 of the 1945 World Series, setting in motion a chain of events that would forever link his name with the Cubs' ill-fated history. The exact contours of William's curse are shrouded in differing accounts of the incident. Some recounted that he emphatically declared that Wrigley Field would never again host a World Series game, while others contend that the ban extended to the Cubs' participation in the World Series, with no explicit mention of a specific venue. According to Williams' family, a telegram dispatched to team owner Philip K. Wrigley encapsulated the curse's essence. You are going to lose this World Series, and you are never going to win another World Series again. You are never going to win a World Series again because you insulted my goat. Regardless of the exact wording, the Cubs found themselves leading the 1945 World Series two games to one. However, fate took an ironic turn as they went on to lose Game 4 and ultimately succumbed to defeat in the best of seven series, for Games to three. The curse gained renewed prominence during the 2003 postseason when Fox television commentators seized upon it during the Cubs-Marlins matchup in the National League Championship Series, or NLCS. A historical account from the Chicago Sun on October 7, 1945, recounted the GOAT's unfortunate exclusion at the gate, with William reluctantly leaving his beloved Murphy tied to a stake in a parking lot as he ventured into the game alone. In the wake of the alleged Billy Goat curse, a series of ominous events unfolded, each adding a layer of mystique to the Chicago Cubs' elusive quest for a championship. The haunting legacy began in 1969 when a stray black cat made a chilling appearance at Shea Stadium during a crucial pennant race game, foreboding the Mets' eventual triumph in both the NL East and the 1969 World Series. Former Cub Bill Buckner faced his cursed moment in 1986 when an infamous error contributed to the Boston Red Sox's World Series defeat against the New York Mets. The Cubs' promising 1989 season met a tragic end with a collapse in the NLCS against the San Francisco Giants. In addition, Despite Sammy Sosa's brilliance in 1998, the Cubs were swept in the NLDS by the Atlanta Braves, while the 2003 postseason witnessed the infamous Bartman incident, a turning point in the NLCS against the Florida Marlins. A late-season collapse in 2004 dashed hopes of a World Series, and subsequent years saw NLDS sweeps in 2007 and 2008. The 2015 NLCS defeat against the New York Mets further fueled the narrative, with fans noting the ironic connection between the Cubs' GOAT and Mets' second baseman Daniel Murphy's pivotal role in their demise. The 
curse's influence may have also been exacerbated by a notable trend. Several players achieved World Series success after departing from the Cubs. Before his passing on October 22, 1970, Sianis made a personal endeavor to lift the curse that bore his name. His nephew Sam Sianis made repeated pilgrimages to Wrigley Field accompanied by a goat in various attempts to dispel the ominous spell. Noteworthy instances include appearances on opening day in 1984 and again in 1989 both coinciding with years when the Cubs triumphantly clinched their division. In 1994, Sam Sianis revisited the ballpark with a goat to break a home losing streak, and in 1998, he brought a goat for the wild card tiebreaker game, resulting in a victorious outcome for the Cubs. In 2003, coinciding with the Chinese Zodiac's Year of the Goat, a group of Cubs fans journeyed to Houston with a billy goat named Virgil Homer. Their mission to reverse the curse involved a scroll, a verse reading, and a proclamation at Minute Maid Park, home of the Astros. While the Cubs secured the division title, their World Series aspirations were thwarted by the infamous Steve Bartman incident and subsequent collapse against the Florida Marlins. The curse endured additional bizarre episodes, including the reported hanging of a butchered goat from the Harry Karai statue on October 3, 2007. Despite the symbolic act, the Cubs, though winning the NL Central Division titles in 2007 and 2008, faced postseason sweeps in both years. In 2008, a Greek Orthodox priest employed holy water in and around the Cubs' dugout during the playoffs, but the curse remained unbroken. On April 1, 2011, a social enterprise named Reverse the Curse emerged, channeling efforts towards poverty alleviation by providing goats to families in developing countries. The year 2012 witnessed a group of five Cubs fans embarking on a journey from Mesa, Arizona, to Wrigley Field, accompanied by a goat named Wrigley. They believed the goat's arrival would finally shatter the curse of the billy goat, and simultaneously, they sought to raise funds for the Fred Hutchinson Cancer Research Center. A particularly ominous event occurred on April 10, 2013, when a severed goat's head was delivered to Cubs owner Thomas S. Ricketts, possibly as an effort to lift the curse. While on September 22, 2015, Patrick Bertoletti, Tim Brown, Takaru Kobayashi, Kevin Strahl, and Bob Shout consumed a 40-pound goat in a remarkably swift 13 minutes and 22 seconds at a Chicago restaurant named Taco in a Bag, in what can only be described as a unique attempt to defy the enduring curse. On October 22, 2016, the Chicago Cubs secured victory in the NLCS with a resounding 5-0 shutout against the Los Angeles Dodgers at Wrigley Field. This historic triumph unfolded precisely on the 46th anniversary of Billy's death. The curse was broken, many believed. The Curse of the Billy Goat, an enigmatic and enduring saga in the rich tapestry of baseball folklore, cast its shadow over the Chicago Cubs for more than seven decades. 
originating from the seemingly whimsical denial of entry to a goat named Murphy at Wrigley Field during the 1945 World Series. The curse evolved into a potent symbol of the Cubs' championship woes. As the team's postseason endeavors fell short time and again, the mystique surrounding the curse grew, intertwining with the collective narrative of Cubs fandom. Decades of near misses, tantalizing postseason appearances, and the enduring allure of the supernatural led to a series of attempts to break the curse. From the earnest pilgrimages of Samsiani's, barren goats and symbolic gestures, to unconventional rituals such as the electrocution of the Bartman baseball, the Cubs and their fans sought to overturn the hex. The curse even transcended the confines of sports, becoming a cultural phenomenon that garnered attention far beyond the baseball diamond. In 2016, the narrative reached a climax, unfolding in a manner that seemed almost scripted for Hollywood. On October 22nd, exactly 46 years after Billy Siannis' death, the Cubs secured a 5-0 shutout against the Los Angeles Dodgers in Game 6 of the National League Championship Series, or NLCS, at Wrigley Field, clinching their first pennant in 71 years. The curse was broken, and the stage was set for a World Series showdown with the Cleveland Indians. In a dramatic seven-game series, the Cubs overcame a 3-1 deficit against the Indians, culminating in a heart-stopping Game 7 at Progressive Field in Cleveland. The Cubs emerged victorious with an 8-7 win in 10 innings, ending their staggering 108-year championship drought. The curse, which had haunted the team and its faithful followers for generations, was finally vanquished. As we reflect on the curse of the Billy Goat, its conclusion stands as more than a triumph on the baseball field. It is a story of resilience, unity, and the unyielding spirit of a team and its fans. The curse, once a heavy burden, transformed into a poignant chapter in the Cubs' storied history, a testament to the indomitable human spirit that can overcome even the most entrenched challenges. The saga serves as a reminder that in the world of sports and beyond, the power of belief, determination, and a touch of historic magic can rewrite the narratives of the past and pave the way for a brighter future. The curse of the Billy Goat may be consigned to history, but its resolution stands as a timeless symbol of triumph and redemption in the hallowed halls of Wrigley Field. And with that, we have come to the end of our video. Please subscribe, like and click that notification bell to be notified of our future episodes. This is Ben saying, see you next time.